Okay, now we're taking a look at the Unity environment here. So now this is about a year after that other video that you've just seen. And what differs is that a lot more of the models are much further along in development and have many more than this. Because without the models, the scene just doesn't come to life. Plus, a lot of this has been built so you know you can build the streets and the roads and you just lay them down as you go. As I run through the scene, I just call them in through code and make it work like that. So it it's a big difference in the way the game plays in here. So then the last thing I'll end up doing, a lot of this was so I could test the performance, everything. Lighting works great. All the the power lines work great. And um, so a lot of it was to see if I could get the same kind of performance. So I've really overloaded it with way too many polygons. I mean, each one of these bikes are overkill with polygons. There's a lot of overkill polygons. So it's highly unoptimized at the moment. But even with that, and with without you know being a standalone executable, it still has pretty good performance on my old GTX 470 carb, which is four years old. So this was supposed to be the base platform of GTX 470. So really, because um, this type of program with tornadoes really requires particles. I mean, you can simulate it without particles, but I assure you, you need physics particles to bring a tornado simulator to life. But so, you know, there's a lot of details that really start bringing this to life. And I'll show you some more examples here in the next couple of videos.